in the hard work, time, and dedication into saving up for some new shoes. You go to Foot Locker and find the perfect pair. You try them on, you check them out, and you cop them. And even though you spent your last $200 on these shoes, you're happy. Because you feel fresh as fuck, and these J's might actually get you some bitches. But as you're leaving the mall, a gang of motherfuckers wearing shiesties take those J's right off your feet. Leaving you shoeless, broke, depressed, and with absolutely zero bitches. Now, personally, I wouldn't let that slide. However, when I was just a young, wholesome boy in 7th grade, I still wouldn't have let that slide. But I was weak as shit, so uh, it would have slid anyway. I mean, in 7th grade, I could have got my ass beat by Hasbulla, bruh. I was a walking lick, which is exactly why I got a story for y'all today. So as I said, this story takes place in 7th grade, where I was young, innocent, and Built like a string bean, bro. So one Friday night, me, Bob, and Billy were going to this girl's house for the three-man mission. The plan was simple. There was three of us and three of them. We would put on a scary movie and if everything went to plan, we would get some cheeks. Now just earlier that day, I had copped some fresh ass Jordan. So I've got a little confidence boost as we walk up to this girl's house. So we knock on the door, they open it, and we go inside. Now we stuck to the plan. We put on some cheesy horror movie and one thing led to another and by the end of the movie, Bob had all three girls bro and me and Billy were in the corner playing Bloons Tower Defense. Don't ask me how this shit happened, I don't want to talk about it. So after hours of me and Billy straight fumbling, we all decide to go home. And although I was a little disappointed in my performance tonight, I put on my brand new uncreased Jordans and I remembered, damn. Even curry airballs sometimes. Now the bus route back to Bob's crib took two buses. So we hop on the first bus, it takes us to the next stop, and as we're getting off, we see the second bus we need drive right by us. Fuck, is that our bus? Damn, yeah it is. Well, uh, uh, check when the next one comes. Yeah, it shouldn't be long. Damn, bro, the next bus comes in an hour. So we have no choice but to wait at the bus stop for an hour. So we wait and wait, and at this point, it's already getting late. I checked the time, and it's already 11 p.m. As we were sitting there, bored as hell, waiting for this bus to come, one of the other buses stops in front of us to let someone off. The person gets off, and as the bus starts leaving, we hear this loud thud come from the bus. What the hell? What was that? Oh. Oh shit, it's a baton. And as we're analyzing this baton that seems to have fallen out of the sky, some motherfucker wearing a shiesty walks up to Billy like, give me that shit, and straight snatch the baton out of Billy's hands. And Billy froze up, bro was scared shitless, straight bamboozled. And the way the bus stop was set up was there was a main road, the bus stop, and behind the bus stop was a small hill with bushes on top. And when I say this shit looked like something out of a movie, I mean this dude wearing a shiesty walks back up to the top of the hill and a group of five other dudes walk out from behind the bush and they're shiestied up too bro. They had to have been in at least grade 12 and two a seventh grader that is scary as fuck and i was no genius but as that group of shysties came out of the bushes looking like a gta 5 cutscene i came to the consensus that they were up to no good yo 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 those jordans are looking my size and this this was the moment i realized i was about to get my shit robbed so I started analyzing my surroundings and calculating my options. M maybe I can talk my way out of this. <clears throat> uh, hey sir, uh, how was your day today? Shut up! I said, what size are the shoes? Damn, I, I can't fight them. It's a three on five, and they got the high ground, and they got a baton, bro. They would knock my ass out and take the shoes. But, 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 but I'm fast. So, so if I take a right, then make a left, there's no way they can catch me. Wait, fuck, I can't run. I I'd crease my Jordans. And just as I had ran out of options, Billy says the last words I would expect to come out of this man's mouth. Wait, 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 Ethan?
Yo, who the fuck? Oh, oh shit, Billy. Oh, I didn't know it was you, bro. Man, Ethan, you had me scared for a second. Damn, man. my bad, pimp. My bad, yeah, my bad. Yeah, no, no, you're good, you're good. How, how's your mom oh, doing? Oh, yeah, she's doing good. Yeah, it's great to see you, Yeah, man. you too, bro. See you around. All right, peace out. Yo, don't worry. I seen, I seen a kid over there with some new forces we could snatch. Oh, bet. Yes, sir. I Dibs. bet, I bet. Man, he's a good dude. Nah, nah bro. He he just tried to rob me. Who the, who the fuck was that? Oh, th that's my long time homie, Ethan. Wh why do you know him? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we went to the same preschool. S same preschool? Th that dude looks 20, bruh. Oh, yeah, no, he he is. He, he just got held back a few times. H held b held back in preschool? How the fuck do you get held back in preschool? Oh, he, he used to beat up the other kids and then take their toys. Oh, oh shit. Makes sense. So we bust back to Bob's crib, and as we're walking to Bob's front door, I stepped in mud. Bro.